Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is the most electrifying host on social media. That is the one, the only. It is Team Rai Rai. How the hell is everyone doing? I am back. Is that awesome? Let me know down below. Now, let me get my bad boy introduction to start it. Then we'll get this awesome discussion underway. Now it is time. To get this amazing podcast underway, and I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss on this awesome podcast. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some snacks, grab some food, whatever you prefer. I know it's the same thing, but you know I'm going with this. On the other hand, maybe you want to grab something to drink because. This will be a very interesting topic for my glorious podcast. Here goes nothing. Now it looked like W is really going to do this, hopefully. But you never know, W love to change their minds at the last minute. Now, before I continue, I was wondering, do you like Seth Rollins as a face currently or as a heel? Let me know down below. Now, my opinion, I think he does a great job as a heel. The fans hate him with the passion. He's so over with the crowd. He gets so many championship opportunity. He cheats to win. And he don't go by the book. But if if he's he's currently right now, he's a baby face. He's got to go by the rules. He's nice to Kurt Angle and blah, 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 blah. So, it looked like right now, knock on wood, that Dory is going to turn Seth on heel at the WrestleMania 34 on that Monday edition. The people in the arena from New Orleans for WrestleMania are going to bonanza for, the, for that uh, amazing time. So, it is time for Seth Rollins to turn heel. He should turn heel a long time ago, but it was not the right time. Now, it looked like is going to have Seth Rollins to heel, and he's going to face his former sh- shield buddy, Roman Reigns, for the WWE Universal Championship. Because we all know that Roman's going to beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34. Spoiler alert. I don't want to see that happen, but it's going to happen. And um, that's all I say. Let me read a few parts of this article, and you guys could check out the full link of the article. The, those plans were the original made for Dean Ambrose, but change were made after he was injured. See, that sucks. So Dean Ambrose is supposed to turn heel and go after probably the WWE Championship. Or scratch it, the Universal Championship. I think this would be a better plan. Because I think Seth Rollins has more chemistry with the WWE for crying out loud for the Universal Championship. He done it before. So I mean I like Dean Ambrose, but I don't think the fans really like him as champion, you know? It took a long time, you know. Some people think he's garbage. Some people think he's average wrestler, but the reason needs to work with him more, you know? And plus he's injured, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think Seth is the top of the food chain. Roman and Dean probably is like tied. Um, I know a lot of you are going to hate me for saying that, but it is legit. But he want to be the, the man on Raw. And you could tell they push him like crazy. And I'm glad that he's in the Limish Chamber. For the first time ever, they're going to have seven men in the Limitation Chamber. That is awesome. And um, look out for probably tomorrow my Limitation Chamber predictions. So if I mess up in that predictions, I'm sorry. So I'm looking forward to this Sunday. So I don't mind to see Seth Rollins turn heel. I don't know how that's going to work. Is he going to stab one of his former or one of his buddies 
Roman Reigns like he did to um, Dean Ambrose so let's see what happens so I'm thinking it's gonna be a a history in the making on that Raw after Mania so or maybe W's gonna snap their finger and say you know what I think that was a bad idea let's just change our mind you know let's see what happens so I'm looking forward to this you know now we all know if you really know that after WrestleMania you know after any of WrestleMania it's a brand new season so new storylines new rivalries and new matches so I'm looking forward to what's gonna happen um, for the springtime and the summer you know so this is very interesting you know so I'm guess that Seth Rollins is gonna find a way to get very pissed off maybe he's gonna try to screw Roman at WrestleMania oh that'd be kind of pushing it that'd be a kind of that'd be nice but all the matches are almost set for Mania 34 so I, I don't mind to see Seth Rollins turn heel it's way overdue for my opinion he's like um he's more aggressive with his opponents in this past Monday holy cow unbelievable that gauntlet match I know he beat his buddy Roman but the one I really want to talk about really quickly before I sign off Seth Rollins John Cena best best match of the night that went a little too long but I loved it now I don't mind I don't know if you guys agree Seth Rollins versus John Cena those two competitors have great chemistry it reminded me of I know this is sound silly John Cena versus CM Punk the rivalry I loved it now John Cena versus Roman no it, it, I don't think it really sells tickets but probably a lot of people will go to the event and check that out um, I love Seth Rollins and John Cena hopefully those two guys will go at it again you know they have great history Seth Rollins broke John Cena's nose a couple years ago um, they met at SummerSlam for um, John Cena's US belt. They have a lot of great history. I love to see John Cena versus Seth to headline at Mania. And I want Seth Rowan to beat John Cena again, you know. But I love the history. I love it. Just like um, AJ Styles versus John Cena. I love the chemistry. You know, you've got to have a great chemistry in the ring, you know. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. <clears throat> Sorry, I went a little overboard. So I'll, I'll give you the full article. Let me know what you think about the article. Leave a comment about the article. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification. And all that good stuff. And check out my one from earlier today. It's not the best, but it's, fine. it's hard to find good articles online. I don't want to make stuff up. So I know a lot of you are going to say this stuff is made up. Hey, I just want to get my, I still want to get my thoughts on the matter. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out the article, leave a comment about that, and thank you very much, and I'll see you sometime tomorrow, especially with my Elimination Chamber predictions. Have a good one. Adios.